that's the only thing is when you have pets, you get all of the fur and the dust and everything shows on black t-shirts. I'm telling you, I got a lot of lint. We're going to do some swatches today. Okay, so we are ready. Oh my gosh. So we are going to get started. We are going to do a Marshalls haul. This is kind of like a part two. If you haven't seen the first one that was more like decor, girly items, stationery, I will link it down below because that would be the essentially the part one. You know what I mean? Now we're going to do the second half of the Marshalls haul, the huge Marshalls haul, and we're just gonna focus on makeup, beauty items. I got some makeup brushes. Just like a variety of brands are gonna be included in this haul. So if you're excited to watch, don't forget to grab your snacks, your coffee, and your drinks. Don't forget to subscribe, push the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, <laughs> all that stuff, and let's go ahead and get started. So before we get into the makeup and everything, I do want to share with you some PR that I received from a couple of companies. So these items, of course, are going to be girly. Um, I love girly items. Thank so you for sending these over um, and for reaching out. You know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I am going to link all these products, the links, information, everything in my description box below. So make sure to check down below anyway so they reached out to me and yeah i do want to share with you what these products are this is booby tape i've always wondered about boob tape the company is vby their slogan is get beauty get freedom like that Look how pretty the packaging is this is vby it's a uh nipple cover kit and boob tape kit breast tape kit okay you can use it for a lot uh, <laughs> so yeah it's essentially it's a boob tape so it does give you some instructions how to put the tape on your breast <laughs> um so yeah let's go ahead and dig in i love yeah i love the packaging i think it's really really cute okay so let's open it up here's how it comes so so yeah i kind of you can use it like as a breast lift and a nipple cover you know yeah, so for this specific one, you do get a black and a nude color. They're huge rolls of tape. Yeah, here are the tapes. So you have a lot that come in here. Double-sided tape along with this. Okay, so you do get some nipple covers too. You get two pairs in here. Okay, so these ones have like... Wow, that's cool. Man, these are nice and soft too, and they're they're thin. Have you seen nipple covers that they're so like thick? You know, these are more thin. Yeah, so these are silicone while these have a cloth outer layer to it. Here, let's check it out. Here they are. Yeah, I've never seen any quite like this, even like in stores. Like I've seen these all around. These are very thin. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, they're very thin. Right? I like that a lot, actually. You know, I do love the fact that you get two colors because if you wear something black versus like a lighter color top or dress, you know, you have options. You have options. Right, so thank you for sending that over. Okay, so the next one is gonna be this one. So this is a portable straightener. I may Voga. This is a cordless hair straightener and curler, two in one. I love the fact that it is cordless. I do travel and I commute to work and a lot of times I do my hair really quickly in the car. So something like this is really, really helpful and very convenient too. If you travel a lot, you guys, you can totally like take this on the go. Look how pretty this is. Look, I can imagine when I take it out of the box, right? So it says make beauty a habit, enjoy quality of life. I love that. Okay, so you have your instruction manual. 
So this is how it's gonna look. It's very compact and kind of heavy, which that's pretty cool. Okay, so it does come with a comb in here. It does come with your cord. What is this? Uh, the fingertip protector, I guess that's what those are. And then this is a carry case right here too. And then you have claw clip. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, how do you open it? Oh, so this is cool. This is the kinds of stuff I look for in packaging. Convenience and of course other stuff, but I'm just saying I love how it has a locking mechanism right here. You unlock it. There you go. I love that. So here's your on and off switch right there. We totally have to test this out. Wow, I just, I love it. I love the fact that the on and off switch is on the side instead of like right here, which a lot of them have power buttons right where you put your thumb. Like I never got that, why? Anyways, so yeah, look how sleek this is. I love this. Very compact, it has some weight to it, which makes it more like luxe quality. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I love the overall feel of this cordless straightener. Love it. Yeah, this is like all you need. It's like a medium sized one. It's not tiny, it's not one of those long ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is nice. Thank you so much for sending this over too. Again, all of the links for these two products will be down below. Make sure to go check them out. And any other links related to these products will be linked down below. Make sure to go check those out. Now let's get on to the Marshalls haul. So we're going to start with the makeup brushes. So I did get this travel. I guess it's a five piece. No, it's a four piece. So it's just a travel brush kit. You can definitely save some money if you go get these at Marshalls. They're usually always there. Like every time I go, I see new ones. These are just like the actual larger brushes but smaller yeah not bad very soft this one i would definitely use for highlighter i don't know i like to use eye brushes for highlighting brushes you know check this one out i can't believe this was only 2.99 come on man why is it okay by the way, if these little fan brushes come with little sleeves like this, make sure that you keep the sleeve after you wash it to put it in here so it can keep its shape. Otherwise, the bristles will go all like crazy. That's just a little tip for that. Um, but yeah, check this Jacqueline uh, Morphe. No, this is just Jacqueline's brand. I have never seen a cute little fan brush like this. This is perfect for highlighters, perfect. You can get it exactly where you want it. Even you can use the tip for the nose right there. Yeah, very, very cute. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? It's kind of like a silvery sparkle and then her name right there, Jacqueline. I love how it's acrylic. You know me in acrylic, right? Okay, so next one for $2.99, Zoeva. Zoeva brushes are so good, especially the white hair bristles. This one is the, uh, let me see, 240 petite pencil brush. I love, love, love this for right along the lash line, uh, specifically the bottom lash line at the bottom outer half, I would say like from here to there, you know what I mean? That's what these are good for. I totally recommend you picking one of these up. And also too, I find that the white bristles pack on the color well. Next more, let me see Zoeva. Okay, so this one was still $2.99. And this one is the 316, oh, 318 soft paint liner brush. It's more of a thicker uh, edging. It's not like super, super thin, kind of like this one would be. Look, the Zoeva, this, this one is thicker. Coffee break. 
Okay, moving on, I did also pick this one up. So this one was $3.99 and this one is also, man, I'm telling you, you got a lot of Zoeva. I love the white bristle brushes, I do. It really packs on the color really, really nicely. So this one is the $2.39 soft shader brush. This is more to pack on the color on your whole lid. That's what I would use this one for, so. Okay, so the last one is a Morphe. I love the uh, ferrule on this one. So this one was $5.99. There's the price, $5.99. Because it's tapered right here on the side, I would use it more for a contouring brush. Very soft. Morphe brushes are always very soft. Um, so this one is the R46. It is a pink, by the way. See how it has like a pink hue to it? Very metallic looking. So there are the makeup brushes. So now we're gonna move on to face. Uh, so we're gonna start with lippies. The two lippies I found were from Bare Minerals and from Paracone MD, both fabulous brands so first one we're going to go into the bare minerals this is the mineralist hydra smoothing lipstick lately i'm more into hydrating products i find it's more flattering for more mature skin types anything more dewy now if you are oily in my opinion i would recommend natural finish face products let's say we're going to foundation um more than the matte but if you're so oily you can use a mattifying primer underneath to counteract that natural finish sheen of a foundation and it's still going to look very pretty on the skin and then not to mention you can always top off your foundation routine with the mattifying setting spray if you're oily so i don't know if that all made sense because as you know i'm already 40 and you know things are not uh, applying the same as when i was younger you know in my early 20s and stuff but <sighs> that was off topic. Let me go back to this. So $7.99. Check out the packaging. Isn't that gorgeous? This one is in the shade Honesty. Beautiful, beautiful shade. Oh my gosh. Right up my alley. You see how it has a sheen to it? I love that. Should we try some on over what we got? It look, kind of looks like the same color what I have right now. How pretty. That is beautiful. The next lipstick is the Paracone MD, also for $7.99. This one is in the shade Berry. So these ones, you twist off. So again, this is in the shade Berry. Ooh, so this one goes on quite sheer. Look at that. Hold on. If I hold it back here, you see how it's, it's sheer. You could probably use it for your cheeks too because it's that sheer. But it does have a gloss to it, just so you know. Those two lipsticks were pretty. Uh, mind you, they have a lot of lipsticks. They have various colors in those brands. So go check out your local Marshalls. I get so excited when I find like high-end brands. This is the KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner. This one's in the shade Bronzy Gold 25 for $5.99 and that's so so pretty there's your shade oh so so pretty look at that it's like really metallic you see and it goes on very very smooth look at and I'm trying to take it off look that's why it's called tattoo liner isn't that crazy it'll like stay it's completely waterproof i have to scrub it off next i did pick this stila for 7.99 so it's a one-step correct brightening finishing powder that's a long name i got this specifically for under eye you know and i find that the stila products are really good for mature skin too the packaging is very pretty it looks marbleized and this one is in the shade light Oops. It's kind of like a translucent powder. So if I mesh them all together. So you see how it has those hint of colors within it. Basically, they're supposed to kind of counteract and balance out your complexion. So when you do have all those colors mixed together, it counteracts like, like the, the peach will counteract darkness. The green will counteract redness. So any kind of imperfections that you have on your face, if you mix a translucent powder that has 
oh my gosh i'm running out of breath all these colors it'll make your complexion appear more even there you go very thin formula very uh smoothing on the skin definitely smoothing of course you can't see it but maybe you can see where i it's very smooth trust me so this i would use kind of like with the tapered brush for underneath the eyes you know what i actually want to try it out with you okay so i have this tapered brush this one i got in a set on amazon so we're gonna swirl it all together and it's on the brush you see how it's a little bit light right there did it do anything yeah it did oh yeah it sure did it blurred all that out ooh, 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 ooh. that's pretty that's pretty next what is next what is next we're getting to the makeup palettes you guys Yay! okay hold on before we get into more swatches i picked this up i remember getting it in boxycharm and i had to get it when i saw it so this is a no problem primer by touch and soul and this was only check this out 9.99 that is so cheap so here's how it looks See, it's like a silicone base so it's very nice you guys if you haven't tried these this one's really nice now they do also have the green one for sale which i also got the green one the last time um the green one you just have to use very little so that's going to specifically counteract people that have rosacea any kind of skin discoloration on their face you would get the green one more than this one you know but um yeah it's very it's not too silicone it does have a slip to it but it i don't know it's just a really good primer so now we're gonna move on to this one so this is from the lip bar this is the eyeshadow palette it's just called the eyeshadow palette there's no shade to this one actually oh yeah this is the fairy princess eyeshadow quad do y'all like to shop i love to shop who out there loves to shop raise your hand wouldn't that be cool if we all just were to meet up somewhere and all of us go shopping and vlogging and that would be so fun oh my god oh this packaging what is going oh this is that's why okay now it's gonna come out this is cute you would think from the packaging it's gonna be a bigger quad but this is smaller look how beautiful it reminds me of the kvd brand okay you open it up and then here are your shades look how beautiful nice and neutral right up my alley i love these types of shades uh let's go ahead and swatch Ooh, very creamy too okay Ooh, nice and creamy they went on so soft the formula is very soft these are going to blend very nicely you guys and you kind of have a whole look with this so you have your your base shade your transition shade and then of course you have your sheen and then your outer v shade which is that one very pretty what is in the back because it opened up again hold on so you do have a mirror back here you know what i don't know if there was brushes in here there wasn't any i don't know then i picked up this bh cosmetics nude ego small palette in unleashed this one is for 4.99 beautiful shades as well let's swatch here we go we'll get four shades we'll get the for sure the the shimmery ones look how beautiful look at that i love it 
So they have three shades. Actually, I got three Sephora ones. Let's go into this one first. So this is from the I Love collection from Sephora. So this is the medium cool shade. And these were only, you guys, $5.99. I, I just cannot believe how inexpensive they are. I'm telling you. So the packaging is like this. You would expect the packaging is going to be light, like on the palette, but it's not. They're all this color. I think they did come out with four shades. They all come with the mirrors, you can see. But look at the tones. Isn't that beautiful? I'm telling you, I can buy tons of palettes with neutral shades because I love to wear neutrals. Like, I know a lot of people are like me. It, it's hard to go outside your comfort zone, you know, when, when you're confident in a certain color scheme. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. So this one's kind of like a gold oh wow these are so buttery oh my gosh my voice cracked there a little bit these are so buttery look at these what wow beautiful okay these remind me of an urban decay palette maybe the urban decay is a little more like opaque but Check out those shades. Isn't that beautiful? All of them are beautiful. All of them. Okay, I'm going to back it up because because I, I still have more swatches to do. Okay, back This up. is another one. I'm excited to dig into it, but I needed to haul it first for you guys. So this one is the Benefit. Uh, it's a velvet powder foundation in the shade 1. So they do have a couple of shades out right now. So you guys, this powder is very good. I love it. I don't know if y'all tried it. What do y'all think about it? Because I think it's so, so good. I like to use this powder because it's so fine for underneath my eyes and like to kind of brighten it. I guess it depends what color you get. Because if I were to got, got, if I were to get shade two, it would be like an all over powder. But since I got shade one, it's kind of lighter. As you can see, I use it specifically for the higher points of my face, not necessarily higher points because I will use it underneath my eyes too, but I'll use it like on my chin right here in the T zone just to brighten up the face. Sometimes I'll use it right here as a touch up, you know, just to kind of chisel out my cheekbones. <laughs> so yeah, these are so, so good. Although, let me tell you, the packaging is very deceiving because check this out. It does come with a brush, right? But look how thin the, pa the actual powder is, right? Yeah, just so you know. So then they have this one also, and then they also have the mattifying one. This one is the Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Makeup Skin Care Primer. This one contains vitamin B5 and hyaluronic acid in it, which is really, really good for the skin. I mean, from Revlon. Oh, wow. It, it's silicone based. Wow. Yeah. I actually thought it was going to have more of a sheen. Ooh, it smells good. It's a subtle, like fresh floral fragrance. And it's not strong at all. This is really nice. I'm going to get the matte one next time. I'm excited to use that. And it kind of has a little grip to it. That's going to be really good for foundation to grip onto, right? Next. Okay. Highlighting quad. Makeup Revolution. So this is the Cheek Glow Highlighter Palette. So this one was $3.99. So affordable. Um, let's open it up together. Wow, there. Look at that. <gasps> oh my gosh. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? What is going on? I'm going to go get me another one. Oh man, for the inner corner highlight. <clears throat> I'm going to go get me another one. They just put them all out too. When y'all go to Marshall's, make sure. Hey, that's probably a package I got in the mail, my dogs. Um, 
yeah when y'all go y'all definitely pick this up please pick this up y'all are gonna love it especially if you like a blinding highlight not only you can use it for a highlight but you can use it for the inner corner highlight on your eyes i love to do that with highlighters okay all of these i picked up were only 5.99 5.99 so you know the regular price on these are like $15.99 at Walmart or your local drugstore? Yeah. So this one is the Gilded Flora from Milani. It reminds me of a Huda Beauty palette. Look. But smaller, you know? Hmm. <sighs> Okay, these are very, very pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's try the yellow. Ooh. <gasps> Look how pretty. That is beautiful. It's not too, too opaque. They do have some sheerness to it, but definitely workable and definitely beautiful, right? These almost look like the, the top two almost look like toppers and they're very thin the formula is thin which i like that you know you know what i do want to yeah. this one let's watch that wow you can use this for an inner corner highlight oh my gosh look <gasps> omg guys when i'm around okay if you are new here you guys i love to be silly you know what gets me silly makeup yeah and good company these are from sephora i have never seen these i never knew that these were out the packaging is so cool by the way so this one's the heartland hero and this is the samba sensation i love the packaging okay so again 5.99 these palettes are heavy yeah let's start with the heartland hero they come with mirrors Here is your shade there you go oh wow they swatch beautifully i will say though if you're wondering which one swatched more silkier it's going to be this one over this one however this is beautiful so this one's samba sensation this one's more beautiful in my opinion <laughs> they kind of look the same wow they really kind of look the same so the bottom one has more deeper tones but they're both neutral yeah they're like the same just get both okay just get both okay so this one is revolution you always find revolution at marshall's there's no doubt about it you are bound to find something so this one is the ultimate lights palette look how beautiful the packaging is kind of looks like icicles see that look how beautiful it looks inside these palettes are pretty heavy um they do come with a mirror but check out how beautiful the shades are isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh okay wow check that out <sighs> there you go so beautiful you guys we have three more palettes i like to save the large ones for last so yeah you know what did i even tell you the price of the revolution so that one was 7.99 um yeah look at these all right so i'm gonna start with the smaller one first so this one is from Lorac at 12.99 so this one is the Lorac pro palette artist edition check out how beautiful this palette is oh it's a collab one oh my gosh okay so it does come with a mirror 
I like to make sure I include that, that if it comes with the mirror or not, because sometimes that deters somebody from buying a palette. Um, okay, so here are the shades. Very neutral, right up my alley. Then you can add your pop of single color shadow, you know? Anyways. Okay, swatch time. So this one is like a dark, dark chocolate brown black. Let's see how dark it is. Usually the Lorac formula is amazing. Look, see how it's opaque? And then let's do this. These are so pretty. And then this one, and then a yellow one. Mm. You see how beautiful? I just, yeah, I can't believe it. And look at the swatches too. Oh, that is so beautiful. Yeah, definitely pick that up. It is not bad for $12.99. Next, so I did pick this one up. So these are two Morphe palettes. This one was $19.99. This one is the Morphe and I don't know how to pronounce her name, but look how beautiful the packaging is, right? So this is the Fierce Fairy Tale palette. I love how the actual package of the palette is the same as this, as the cover. So this one's going to be a colorful palette. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at your shades. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one is really intriguing to me. I'm going to, wow, very opaque. So these are marbleized. And then let's get this yellow one. Look how beautiful. I'm going to swatch more. So here's the swatches. That yellow one is very pretty too. But the top, the pink and the blue are a little blotchy. Then again, it could be my bony hands. Let, let me swatch that blue one again. On here, it looks so pretty though. And then let me swatch it up here. Oh yeah, it's my bony hands. There's a swatch. So let's do another swatch. Let's do the bright orange color and then one sheen or a shimmery color. Yeah, it, it's my uh, my bony hands for sure. Okay, there we go. That's better. I'm trying, there we go. So that blue is very, very like a, it's like a cobalt blue almost, or it is like a cobalt blue. Very pretty. I did not like the way the pink swatched. Look at that orange color. Okay. So the last one we're going to do is this 35A Up Till Dawn by Morphe. This one again was $19.99. Here are your shades. There are your shades. So these aren't swatching too, too great. I don't know. They are not swatching too, too great. So this one I'm not impressed with. Again, I don't know how it's going to perform on the eyes, but I mean, it's beautiful to look at. The swatches weren't too great on this one. I don't know. 